By the end of this video, you'll be able to turn a PDF of sheet music that looks something like this into an audio file that sounds like this. Let's get started. So there are several ways that you can turn your PDF sheet music into an audio file. The first way that I'm going to show in this tutorial is how to use MuseScore to instantly do this. And then the second way will be how to use an online tool in MuseScore so you won't have to download any software. And the third method that I'll share in this tutorial are several other apps that will do this as well. So we're going to start off with using MuseScore Studio. And if you do not have MuseScore Studio installed on your computer, what you want to do is go to the website musescore.org. It'll look like this, and then you can download the software. It'll install MuseHub, which then you can find MuseScore Studio and download the software, and then you can join me in the next step. So when you're in MuseScore Studio, you're going to want to go to the left-hand side of your screen and left-click on File, and then there's going to be an option here for Import PDF. You're going to want to left-click on that. And after you click on import PDF, that is going to bring you to your web browser, which is going to bring you to musescore.com, and it's going to ask you to sign into your account. If you do not have an account, you're going to want to left click on the sign up button here and create a username and password. Again, it's a free account to have. So I have my email here uh, or username. I'm going, to I'm going to input my username and password, and I'll see you in the next screen. So once you've signed into your account, that will bring you to this site here, which is musescore.com, and this is your dashboard. And what you want to do is go to the top of your web browser and type in musescore.com slash import, and then press enter. And I'll put that link in the description below. So this will bring you to this site where you can now select a PDF file that you would like to import, and then this will convert it to a musescore file, and then we'll be able to convert it to audio. So I'm going to left click on select PDF, and you're going to find the file that you'd like to try. So let's try this uh, Beethoven third movement. I'm going to click on open and then you can input information here. So let's go ahead and say third movement and then you can give it a description if you would like and then just left click on save. And now you should be able to see your converted files here under file name and you can see that Beethoven Pathetique third movement and is uploaded and then now I can download this. Now I'll be able to once I download it I'll be able to open this in MuseScore. So I left clicked on download. You can see the little file that was downloaded to my computer. And I'm going to left click on that and it's going to open up in MuseScore. And so you can see it imported that into MuseScore. Let me show you the original file so you can see what we were originally starting with. So if I go to desktop and then examples. So this is what the original P uh, PDF file of sheet music looked like. And now when I go to MuseScore, you can see that it looks like this. So it did a pretty good job. And again, the import quality is going to be based off of how clear the sheet music is. It's most likely will not work very well with handwritten sheet music. Uh, this will really work well with uh, very clear PDF sheet music. And, you know, uh, you know, depending on how uh, well it converted it, although I'm looking at the second page and you can see it kind of missed some things or maybe just formatted it a certain way. So I probably would have to format this a little differently. It looks like the page breaks. So uh, I have a lot of other tutorials on how to format your music. For this tutorial, we're really showing you how to convert this into an MP3 file. So now that it is in sheet music, I can go ahead and click this play button on the top right hand side of your screen. And you can see it's able to play the music. And if I want to now export that as an MP3 file, I'll go up to the left-hand side of the screen, File, Export. And then I'm going to export the main score. And I'm going to export it as an MP3 file. So this is going to export the audio that I just played for you. And then I'm going to have the open destination folder. You can change these settings if you'd like, but then I'm just going to left click on export. The higher the settings, the, the higher the numbers, the higher the quality, but also the longer it'll take to export. I'm going to left click on export. It's going to ask you where you would like this to be exported to. So I'm going to name this Beethoven example, and we can just save it to the downloads. That's fine. You can find your folder and then left click on save. And then depending on how large the file is, this will take quite a bit to export. So uh, once this is exported, I will see you in the next screen. So this finished exporting, and I'm going to go to the folder that the file was placed on my computer. So you can see it's in my downloads. I'm going to left click on Beethoven example, and this is going to open it as an audio file. And you can see that it was able to successfully export that as an audio file. 
And that using MuseScore, you can change a lot of the things, especially if the export uh, to, from PDF did not work so well. You can change the notes in MuseScore. You can also change the sounds by using the mixer. So on the top here, you can left click on mixer. And there are uh, a variety of sounds that you can get from MuseScore for free uh, that will be able that you could change if, you, if you're not liking that piano sound. You could change the piano sound. You can also change a lot of the dynamics of this piece. You can uh, basically edit any portion of this that will affect your audio file, and then you can export it that way. I have many other tutorials on this channel showing you how to use the mixer as well as how to edit the music, and uh, I'll put links to those in the description below. So if you prefer not to download the software, you can actually do this all online on MuseScore.com. And once you're signed in, uh, again, you go to, you basically just go to MuseScore.com slash import, and then you would select your PDF. Let's do a different one this time. So this time I'm going to select a, let's say a hymn here. I'm going to open that hymn. And then again, you can title this anything you would like. And you can even put the genre and so forth. I'm going to left click on save. And then once it's here, you can see there'll be a button for download. And again, sometimes if it takes a little while, it might say queued. But once it's ready, it'll say download. And you just left click on that button. It will download the file. And then instead of opening it in MuseScore Studio on your computer, you can actually open that up in MuseScore.com. And all you need to do is go to the top part of your screen here on the right hand side left click on upload and then you're just going to choose the file that was just downloaded so let's do the newest one there and then i'm going to left click and then it's going to process that score this is going to upload this score this music to your account and i'm going to go ahead and say that this is based on existing music and doesn't have uh let's see compositions amazing grace okay left click on that and then you can click your genre if you'd like, and so on and so forth, description. And I am going to go ahead and then click on this part here. I want to make this private, so I'm just going to click left click on private. And then once this is finished processing, then uh, we can go ahead and hit publish here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this score is still processing. So I'll show you to other scores that I've uploaded already. So you would just left click on go to my scores. And, oh, it looks like it might have uploaded here. Perfect. Okay, so then I'm going to left click on the top one, which was the one I just uploaded. And you can see it actually did a fantastic job. And it actually brought in the lyrics as well for that score. And to download the audio, you would just go to the right-hand side of your screen. You can change what kind of instrument you would like that to be. And once you have the correct instrument you would like, you just left click on download, and then you would click on audio. So then you could just listen to the score with audio. It will download it, and then I'm going to just go ahead and open that up. So you can see the audio is with a certain kind of vocal sound. And again, you can change that instrument in the score and then download that audio file in a different format then. So those are two easy ways to turn your sheet music PDF file into an audio file. But if you're having any issues with the methods shown here, there are other apps and softwares that will do this as well. Another free one is PlayScore 2. And so you could follow the instructions of downloading this one and then inputting your PDF file and then uh, again uh, exporting that or having the output be an MP3 file or an audio file. And that one's free to use. Or you could also try uh, another software, which is ScanScore. And ScanScore is a paid uh, software, but again, you might have more success with either of these than you do with the MuseScore file. But I want to give you these options as well, just in case you're having any issues with the uh, your file in the MuseScore Studio method. So you now know how to instantly turn your PDF sheet music into an audio file uh, using MuseScore Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to be able to edit that PDF sheet music that came into MuseScore. I have another tutorial that shows you how to get started with MuseScore. I'll put a link to that video here.